Merle with a single headshot when shooting through that, but didn't have the angle, so has to wrap around the side. Another great pull there. Run Sansa up, will be able to take down soon. Now Shadowburn gone as well. Corey finding a snipe. No DPS members on the side of the Paris. Eternal, no tanks. No nothing, no point. The flip will come through, but Paris hold it well up above 90%. Yeah, going to be hitting that 91, it looks like here. Just a little bit above that in a row as a sniper. That goes for pretty much any game. Soon this time, just like that, comes up with two. There's Corey and Kita will be taking it out. Shadowburn with a headshot of his own. Managed to find the elimination on the Stratus, and now Sansa going to be taken down. That is just going to be a very clean team wipe. The hands of the Paris Eternal, and Justice, can they even tag in? They have the Doomfist coming out, but Stratus is taking shots on the approach and just cannot get close enough. So that will be the route going back into the hands of the Paris Eternal. Now, I mentioned this before, even though Corey has the stronger Widow 1v1 stat in terms of rankings. I favored soon going into this matchup, and that's because of playstyle in terms of killing backline players. We're going to take a look at this uh, set of kills he got here to help close out the round. I mean, look, this is what Soon does. He looks for kills only. He's not going to go for damage. He's not going to go for, you know, chunking down some of the tanks. Not really. That's not his playstyle. We talked about this a lot when he played against Shanghai yesterday. First here, unless he gets picked. Doesn't hurt when you get those shots in on the Stratus either. Take him out of the sky. Giannis pushing forward. Managed to find one. And a boost was out on the pins. He uses the self-destruct looking for a pick. And Ark is going to be taken down in the back line. So far, a one for one. The res was used on to Gray to put him back into the fight with the minefield there from Giannis. Used it so very long ago. Takes down Gray and Corey right up close and personal with soon finds a headshot again. I mean, Corey is playing like he's angry <laughs> about how ruins went. Corey is under some pressure into the back. Rod's ready to go. Might not have used it. Does not. We'll just go ahead and be able to take down Corey. Now Giannis is going to fall. Stratus uses the bronze of his own, but the sleep comes in instantly from Gray. Loses his life, but saves the rest of his team. A noble sacrifice, and Paris Eternal will be able to flip back into their control, barely losing the lead, now back in it. So he's not under threat right now, Corey. Well, <laughs> that's what happens when you go on the other side of the lighthouse. Yep, kept pushing forward. And that uh, is quite costly in the end. Looking for the sleep there on a gun. Might have actually caught up at the moment, but got woken up pretty much instantly. Pushing forward to Sansa. Comes down soon, finds that kill. As Cloudy is just left behind his people barrier all by himself. As Ark will take care of that. It's a big testament to Sansam as well that he has not really faced too much pressure. Yet. The lone tank trying to wait for Giannis to rejoin. So they can continue to contest, but time and time again, Corey. Jennifer was there soon as well. Now on that tracer, trying to keep things in OT. In a rock place. A rock and a hard place there is Corey. Will get taken down. Giannis. Forward, finds the melee kill onto Gray. Shadowburn nearly with the EMP online. The sound barrier already going to be used by the Watson Justice. The EMP comes out first from Static Stratus, however. Shadowburn gets caught. Will get taken down. Arc pushes forward, manages to find the kill. The OT Justice is going to close this out to extend this to one final round on Lighthouse to try to take the map. Round is there and soon just can't quite get on to the point in time. Right now, as Paris will try to approach with this Infrasight. Bombs up over the top. He's going to be hiding there on the stairwell, but Cloudy and Cruz. Up down the dry two can take it down. Double here for oh. soon. He's all there just for a moment. Corey coming out on top. Here's the bomb. Lob straight in behind the barrier and above it. Yeah, soon's back in spawn now after that pick from Corey. Has that barrage ready to go as the shadow burn? Be especially careful about that positioning. But the alley oop. Corey able to find a final blow there on the soon as Stratus sets up the play. Corey gonna be taken down. Cruz comes up with another kill. Barrage gonna be dropped in straight in under the point. Both tanks and the supercharger all gonna be vanishing. As with the rest of the Paris Eternalists, effectively. Shadowburn, however, drops in. Sleep will come in a little bit late. He manages to find two kills. Sansan finishes him off. Justice will get the fast flip back into their favor. The missing one is going to be the supercharger for the Paris Eternal, and that's going to allow Stratus to get so much done. And Corey is crushing this matchup. He started oh, losing on Ruins, but it is a different story here on Lighthouse and Well. It's right now, Shadowburn in a pretty risky spot, especially with the Infrasight. And there he goes. It doesn't even matter if Corey's back in there with the Infrasight. It's going to be Stratus who comes up with a kill. Going to build his way up to another barrage, but might not need it. Might not have to even get close enough to that. They're at 96%, and somebody's got to tag in. Cloudy has made his way over onto the point, but Vince, he's taking a nap just now, going to be woken up. Going lower and lower, off, actually off the side of the map, it would seem that'll be the closeout. Justice able to take it in the end. Corey and Strat is constantly coming out on top of their counterparts. Not a bad series from Paris either, though. It was a pretty close one. We saw a little bit of back and forth. 
See if Soon can bounce back on Assault here with the Widow, or if Cory is just going to keep going forward with the dominant plays from Shadowburn. Vision out. Soon goes on the hunt, trying to take out Cory. Some of the for the Supercharger. The Barrage comes in. Stratus going to be taken down. Sansa manages to find that pull. Bohog comes in. Chaos manages to get rid of the enemy Mara. Soon, however, gets him back. Another headshot on Nagito. Gets rid of the Ana. Two ticks getting ready to be snagged as Cloudy pushes forward. The nine set one away in so very close. He will be able to take that one now. But comes in soon. Gonna be taken down. Arc rejoining here. Now around the backside has that immortality field thrown up for the rest of his squad. Cloudy finds one on the Stratus, but now Gray gonna be gone. And it seems like the full hold has slipped through the fingers of the pairs. The turtle got so very close to it. But in OT, the Washington Justice. After some cheeky delay from Vinci, they will be able to get the cap on A. The isolation on a Stratus Immortality Field helps him retreat into the back. Decent angle there as he tries to build up towards that Dragon Blade. And already a lot of kills, four kills going over to the side of the Washington Justice. He can finally advance over onto the point of fifth. Looking for the sixth, the Shadow Burn will be taken down. Stratus comes up with two. He can play the, the point. That's going to be Vinci pulled into the corner. Already has used the adaptive shield and nano boost. Will it do enough to keep him alive? No mortality field comes in. Nano helps out a lot. Prey, one swipe away from death, will get taken down. Stratus makes his way out from behind the main wall. Rejoins with the rest of the squad over here onto the point as Blizzard comes in from Shadowburn. Stratus frozen there in the corner of the barrier. Perfectly placed from Giannis. He keeps him safe. May can't get the kill. He dashes through, takes down Suit. Hook pulls Cloudy and instantly pops him out of the mech. Gray anti will be taken down. They're off the point here for the moment. Still just trying to contest another immortality coming through. Cloudy is trying to pistol his way back into that suit. But doesn't seem like he's going to get the opportunity. Stratus again dashes through, finds the kill. Bionate on a shadow burn, but has the ice block. Keeps himself alive for a little bit longer. They're trying to block off any healing by using the barrier. And to take him down again, Finzi going to be eliminated with a wrecking ball. And that will be the cap, I believe. 46 seconds remaining here on Hanamura B for the Washington Justice. But soon did, we'll find out. Well, I mean, if you want to leave it all up to Corey, that's, uh, you're in pretty safe hands, I think, from the side of the Washington Justice. Corey coming up clutch here with the flank angle. I think that flick, but follows up. He gets the second shot. Really solid stuff from Corey. He is so powerful and used by so many teams on Automora in particular. Oh, so desperately. Oh, please, guys, just one hack. Just let me get one hack. <laughs> He's unable to find it. Now Cloudy gonna be taken down. Finzi knocked out of that mech again. So, good start. As well for the Washington Justice. A bit of damage will knock him out of that stealth. Playing All right, Nano's out. Mark EMP comes through, manages to find two. Mortality kill this again. Blade here for Shadowburn, dashing his way in. anti out. Still manages to come up with three kills for himself in the back of the ultimate. Sansom now basically on his lonesome on the point. Trying to stay alive, but it's already taken a breather. Already burned that mitigation. So the cap will come through for the Paris Eternal. They still have three ultimates ready to go for the push over onto point B. And they felt safe, Washington did, with Stratus nearby. Corey is still going to be taken down. The Dragon Strike myth doesn't manage to find much of anything. Blizzard in from Stratus helps freeze up Finzi, and they will be able to be suit hit, but Sansa has the perfect right click there onto Gray. The full brunt of that blast. Take down that on a pull back through into the whole hog instantly out. This is a huge loss for the justice though. They had to use so much. The hog, the nano, they didn't build rally. And Paris got all three parts of the triangle. The pieces to make it happen again and get the better time bank. Well, let's move the hack there on the honest pool comes in from Sansa, but he cannot finish off soon. EMP still gonna be ready. Now we see the nano blade coming in. Arches does not stand a chance. Instantly cut down. He manages to find one, so no EMP in the fight. Maybe a chance for the Washington Justice to try to turn this around, but they need to tag onto the point. They barely managed to do so. And Stratus and Corey both make their way forward. Bionate out from Gino, manages to find one. The Genshin gonna be taken out. Corey with the sliver of HP. Trying to stay alive, gets the armor pack from Ark. And will be able to continue forward. Unbelievable hold here for the Washington Justice. Trying to stay alive desperately. Swinging away, trying to get that healing to come through, but soon comes back through. EMP is out. Catches Corey, catches Sansa. Bomb catches no one. Does that matter? Because Finzi is back into the mech safely. Not as forward again. Going to be hacked out by Soon, constantly putting pressure on that wrecking ball. So far, no one is paying attention to him. So Yana's still quite healthy. Got the minefield away from that next adaptive shield. The minefield does come through. Everybody ducking and dodging away from it. No one's going to be taken down by that quite yet. Corey comes back through, finds a headshot on the gray. Getting rid of the Ana. Now that he is back in, onto the Widowmaker. Sansa's going to be knocked out of the back when Corey finds another shot. This time it's going to be soon. Gets rid of the 
Gets rid of that Sombra, gets rid of the Lucio. Finzi is knocked out of the mech. The Watch of Justice certainly could make this happen. Matt is going to be taken down. Shadowbreak builds up another play, but he's shut down instantly as he pulls it out of the sheath. And the Justice will be able to hold them off. In fact, they move up 2-0. 2-0 lead for the Washington Justice and a miracle hold on B. Defending against the trifecta of the Blade, the EMP, the Nano Boost a second time. You see the Justice split, deal with it well. They're feeling good. Find it so far. Corey going into the back, and that's going to be great. Taken down. Instant retreat coming out. Corey manages to escape from his life. Has to be careful though. Finzi nearly getting eliminated, but Wall comes up. Shadowburn to help keep him protected. And Matrix thrown in. But Cruz taken down again. Corey with his back angle. Managed to find a shot. Now it's going to be that Dragon Strike coming in. Taken down by the Storm Arrows. Corey finds another one. A Shadow Burn will get popped in the skull. And that will just be the Washington Justice taking point A. You mentioned Corey playing so aggressive. He gets the Dragon Strike off because he knows Cruz is dead off the time. So he has no fear. He's not running away. Dragon Strike rolling through soon. Not going to be able to find anything. And now they push out. Surprise! Washington Justice just dumped in that Ant Matrix and they just absolutely wiped the floor with the Paris Eternal. Either way, seems like they are completely caught off guard by that. And now might just have to surrender B. The card is still advancing forward. You can see Paris still hiding behind the corner here, back towards the end of the map. And yeah, not going to be any contention. Just going to be trying to set up on this corner. Soon swaps over onto that Widowmaker, but Corey's just constantly lobbing arrows in his direction to force him back. Finally, be able to push out. The Hulk comes in, they get dragged together, and the cart is so very close to rolling through. Two more meters left to go as Corey finds the snipe onto Soon. Finzi has a sliver of HP remaining on that back. Grand Senate comes in now, Greg. It takes a live. You can see Cloudy getting pushed so far out by the whole hog. Away from the Zenyatta, gets cleaned up. Corey finds the kill. Finzi knocked out of the back and Cruz doesn't really stand a chance. That low HP over by the cart does get finished off. Speed up time here for the Washington okay, Justice. The Blizzard means nothing. They will be able to push through to the end. Washington Justice, ba but Washington Justice basically had the ult advantage throughout that entire map due to that fight they took at the archway. As uh, you see, Ark's giving the stare down here as Monomora. Sure. The attack from Paris Eternal didn't work out, but that pulled through. And uh, some, some getting headshot. That works out quite well for Soon. If there's one thing that Paris can rely on, it's going to be Soon with that Widowmaker. Now that Corey is out of the fight, even more so. The rest of the Washington Justice is going to be hiding inside the hotel here, now wrapping around the backside of the point using that May wall. Perhaps trying to get over. No, still playing off the point. Two ticks going to be given up for free. And it seems like maybe just the point surrendered as well. And now that Guido is gone, that will just be it. The barrier is going to be set up. The hack is in on the Shadow Burn, as you say. Immortality Guild keeps him alive. Giannis is going to be taken down. Soon still operating quite well with the Widowmaker. Finds that shot. Looks for Guido. He's down to half HP. Can't quite hit him, but it does not matter because the cart still pushes forward into point B. 440 in the time bank for the Paris Eternal. Maybe able to get that first victory here on King's Row. Burn, man. <laughs> it's forced into the ice block. Dragon Strike. Out from Corey again. Immortality Field is already going to be used. That's going to be expiring here as Corey will be eliminated soon. Comes up with two kills. The card is still pushing forward. Paris Eternal looking at the finish here on King's Row with the superior time bank. Stratus dancing around the cart, trying to keep things contested, but will get taken down. And Paris Eternal will be able to go into the end, force out some overtime rounds. Yeah. By that immortality field. And Corey, oh my goodness. Headshot with a storm arrow on a suit while he was in midair from the grapple. Fantastic stuff from him. Justice now ticking up here on the point. They lose out on Cruz, not going to have those extended immortality fields here. The try and last on the point, so we'll just have to give this one up. Really enough being that great for him. We will see Corey's shot here onto a grappling suit. He predicts the grapple. Watch this. This is actually insane. <laughs> Boom. Right in the head. He didn't even, he wasn't even spamming it. It was one storm arrow, and he, before it even hit Soon's head, he was already looking to the left. He was that certain. Still hold on to that blizzard as the shadow burn. For now, there's Eternal have that in sight to spot out the members of the Justice. Strat is going to be taken down as the blizzard comes in. Moving into overtime, Kino and Giannis will be able to tag in onto the cart towards the OT, but now the blizzard rolls through as the transcendence expires. OT 
Ramsey bleeding away. The whole hog pushing them back. Corey dives in for a moment. Will get taken down just as he gets that Dragon Strike available. There's nothing the Stratus can do. So OT will dwindle. Justice will be held here. All the same, pushing past point B. Wall comes in, so they can't play the point. That's going to be a tick game for the side of the Paris Eternal. Now, Vinci finds the pickoff and onto Ark, takes him down. Giannis gone. And that will be the crumbling of this defense for the Washington Justice on A. With two minutes and 40 seconds to spare for the Paris Eternal. They trade it. They, yeah, the Blizzard's going to trade it out. No one really coming up with much. But now, as I say that, Gray fights too. Corey and Gita both going to be taken down. Vinci frozen, but stuck up against that wall with Stratus. And soon finds the shot. Now Giannis is going to be gone. That might just be it. Just past B is where the cart needs to go for the Paris Eternal to put that win on the board. Well, here, I don't know if they're even going to get it a chance. Yeah, they're not doing it because they have that supercharger, but the walls come up and they will just push for the whole hog as well, just in case to force them back. And Paris Eternal do keep their hopes alive at a reverse sweep as they put a map win on the board. They were hoping that the immortality field would be enough to close the distance there for Giannis and Sansan, but again, whole hog strikes and evil to thaw out. It's right back into the fight as Coalesce. It's already built up by Kido. Helps keep Corey alive. Another TP in the back just playing up here onto the high ground. There's only so much that Vinzi can do. Only so long that that team matrix lasts. Yeah, this is it's actually not enough. a nightmare for Paris and Merlin. And he's just going to be waiting for that shielding to expire. Soon going to be thinking the same thing. Death Blossom gets rid of Stratus. The Blizzard are going to be canceled. But Corey fights soon with the Death Blossom on his own. Those are the right form trying to survive. Shadowburn, however, this time manages to find the Blizzard. And will be able to take down Yannis. The cart will glide through. we get another two and a half minutes in the time back. So crazy how razor thin close that fight was. I mean, the to stay alive for a little bit longer. Picks up that Mega Pack and the answering Blizzard in response. Does manage to catch two as Giannis and Stratus will both be taken down. Sansa trying to buy some space. This is the self destruct. He's unable to find a team. Great knock Vinci out of the back. Because there's no D Matrix to mitigate the Death Blossom. That manages to fight soon. Card's still sitting in the same spot. Corey will get frozen. Sansa trying to protect him as best as he possibly can. So far, he's able to do so successfully. Corey going to be keeping out to the side. Sansa still holding on to that next. A threat of HP still remaining for him as Stratus rejoins in with this Doom Fist. We know just how much he can be. And helping extend these fights to close them out. Will be able to do so. Paris Eternal going to be halted right in front of point B. There he Cruz, goes. <laughs> Cruz and Shadowburn both playing a dangerous game. Now the rest, however, we're going to come through. But no, Cruz takes a nap. They throw in the bio nade. And the support's in danger of both falling. There he goes. Stratus with a flick over to the side. Manages to find it. Corey gets rid of soon. The card can finally start advancing for the side of the Justice. Held in place for quite some time. That's a 4K for Stratus right there, too. Solid I mean, performance. He is fighting against the whole team by himself, basically. And Paris is so caught up in the losing tank battle that they can't actually bring any resources over to help deal with him. Corey's got soon covered, so soon can't actually. Already here should be able to touch. He's revealed himself, but also Cloudy's here. He's dead. Soon into the back. You know, trying to find that sleep dart onto the tracers. Unable to do so. Whole hog. Coming through. Now will be expiring, as does that transcendent. Gray is vulnerable and gets taken out by Sansa. Shadowburn gets rid of one. Still, major advantage over the side of the Washington Justice. Shadowburn now going to be eliminated. Bio Nade onto two. Soon taken down. Vinci with a sliver of HP. Pops it down to Shield Pick and slept as Gito finds three. Multiple melee kills on the Ana. Just go ahead and close it out. Washington Justice. In there, and Paris's final game of the season will be victorious. They take it three to one. Final game for both of these two teams it was actually a treat. You know, you and I have commentated a lot of regular seasons across multiple esports in our casting careers, and oftentimes these matches at the end of a season that don't have any playoff implications can be quite dull. But this was definitely. Uh, one of my favorites that we've ever had, just getting to see the old legends versus the new rising stars here in Corey and Stratus. We do have our Omen HP player of the match coming up though, and it's gonna be Sansam walking away with a win. Sansam again performs extremely well on the hog. Several of these overtime fights and these fights on point were decided by his whole hogs that he held because he didn't need them in previous fights because his hooks got opening picks I mean, how many times do we see Cloudy and Finzi die first in these fights because he's able to follow up on the halts from Giannis extremely well. Comes up big on the D.Va here as well at the end on Junkertown. And as much as the DPS duo always pops up and always takes the credit, you've got to give 
credit where it's due to Uncle Sam, man. He's wearing the red, white, and blue, and he wants you with a 64% hook accuracy. <laughs> there and you go. there it is. <laughs> Uncle oh. Sam, man, he's coming for you. 2020, watch out. Fantastic. I love that we even got the hook in his hand there <laughs> at the base of it. I mean, well deserved for Sam.